Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Tuesday, August 7th, 2018, and I want to give you the weekly update on the all-iron battery. Things have been going slowly, but for a good reason. This week we have been waiting for the battery to fully discharge so that we have a number to quote for the capacity of that battery in terms of uh, watt hours, essentially. It's been discharging through a little green LED now for uh, several days. It remains strong. You can see here on the graph that it looks like it's changing dramatically, but that's just a scaling. That's, that's just the change from 1.97 to 1.94 volts or thereabout. So it's only a few percent change in the voltage, which means that it still has quite a ways to go. It's not linear voltage to capacity, but it still means that that scale is not indicative of, uh, of a dramatic change. It's actually pretty subtle. So yeah, we're still waiting on this six cell battery to fully discharge. So we'll have some more numbers. But in the meantime, we do have all of the footage to show the battery build instructional video. One of the bigger hurdles to that is making the iron three and iron two solutions. You can make a one molar solution. You can make pretty much any molarity and it should still work. But for higher capacity, you want higher molarity. And <laughs> making, a, making a three molar solution turns out to be almost impossible. Almost, meaning we don't recommend it, but it can be done. Uh, two molar is hard but doable. One molar is not exactly easy. But yeah, higher molarity, higher capacity. So we'll probably release the video with a two molar solution to get that to the pH that we found was ideal. You need quite a lot of sodium hydroxide. Might be interesting to try potassium hydroxide at some point. I actually think that probably sodium ions play a role in the battery charge and discharge cycle. I mean, they have to, to balance the charge. It's probably sodium, not iron, moving through the battery. But, uh, but even beyond that, I actually think that sodium intercalating into that cathode material at some level may provide some of the voltage. So we're going to explore that over the next year, try to get out and get some more advanced instruments onto the materials. But in the meantime, uh, we'll, get the, we'll get the first description up and published as soon as we possibly can. Nico's been working really hard on that. Thank you very much to Nico for working on the publication. I will step in as I can. Thank you, Nico, also for making this six cell array and characterizing it. We'll get the final description up as soon as it's done discharging. Thank you to our crowd funders for making all this possible. And until next week, I will see you then.